Hey family. <sighs> so I'm going to be sharing using language which is something that is very limiting and can be perceived, received, translated, coded and decoded in many different ways. But I'm using language as we usually do to communicate whatever wants to come through right now. So usually I, well, I'm always traveling a lot and for most of my life I have been in like hermit mode, uh, which is something that feels very alone or lonely and at the same time not alone and lonely at all just maybe alone from other humans or from physical contact and sharing with other humans. So I'm always traveling. I'm always traveling through what we call dimensions, realities or points of perception. I'm always traveling and I'm always seeing things in different ways, in different perspectives. I'm always looking at the same thing from all these different angles. And that's one way to explain uh, when I say that I see a trillion perspectives all the time about the same thing. So I can always relate to whatever anyone else is sharing. I can always relate. And whenever I speak or, th or, or talk or think in one, uh, whenever my attention is streaming in one um, of those fractals, in one of those branches, at the same time, my mind is seeing all the other branches at the same time. But for example, when I'm speaking, because of the nature and limitation and identification, and perception and blah, blah, blah of language, I can only translate one stream of perception at the time, which is super hilarious. So that's why sometimes I'm just drawing or dancing or speaking light language or being silent because that way I can stream multiple streams of consciousness, of perception, of realities, of dimensions at the same time. Whereas when I'm using these human languages, I can only stream one uh, fractal of perception at, at one time. So I'm always traveling and usually I am in this very high, like all of this, you, you can interpret everything that I say again, disclosure at the beginning of the video, because I'm using human language, you can interpret what I'm saying in so many different ways. But I'm usually traveling, traveling through very high planes of existence or points of perception or dimensions or whatever you want to call it, realities. And I am usually there and then I channel through my presence, through my beingness, through silence, through uh, light language, uh, spoken, uh, danced written or drawn and I kind of stream down those codes, those visions, those perceptions so that I can share it with others. <sighs> I know sometimes the way I speak might feel a little bit um, not so easy to understand, but I always do my best to translate the untranslatable, to share 
what cannot be shared through language, you know, so it's, it's a funny challenge and it's just a play. But what I wanted to share is that uh, lately I have been called to purposefully uh, go through all of these lower dimensional, denser realities, perceptions, existence, points of view, dimensions, whatever you want to call it, you know. And again, usually I'm in these very high planes and I stream. Um, that's why most of the times I'm like, I don't even want to talk in human language right now. I would rather just draw the energy and people receive it through my drawings uh, instead of trying to explain or contain what cannot be contained in words, in language. So... Um, so lately I have been called and guided to journey and I'm, you know, like if you, if you know me for a while, you probably know that I'm always with the dragons and the dragons are always with me. So we're traveling and lately we have been traveling through these very dark, dense energies, which sometimes for... Uh, this aspect of me, which is perceived as a human, it's very intense sometimes for the human, for the body, uh, as a lot of emotions arise, such as fear and terror and all of these other energies that don't really feel high or positive or good. So it's been a journey, a freaking journey and a challenge. And then it's also both when I go very high or very low, it's always uh, about going there, but then coming back. And what am I bringing back after my travels, you know? And even when I say being back, even this back is also a travel, you know? So it's all a travel anyways and from one perspective is all the same thing it's just perceived and experienced in many different ways so yeah i've been tuning in some uh very dark intense lower dense difficult challenging energies and Sometimes I want to get out and I'm like, what, what the fuck am I doing here? Why, I'm, why am I here? Uh, how is this helping me in any way? How can me being here help others? But the more I again come back, which again, I never left. But every time I come back, I get more clarity about the travel that I just been on. And, and again, I feel like I can see all the freaking perspectives at the same time. So every time I see and watch anyone, uh, for example, here on Instagram, share whatever they are sharing, I feel like I can fully tune in and understand and feel uh, their point of perception while at the same time feeling, perceiving and experiencing all the other perspectives around it which sometimes feel like they are opposite, uh, you know. So with that being said, I see you and I feel you in whatever dimensional exist existential perspective you are in because I feel like I am in all of them and in none of them at the same time all the time and and it's this journey of coming back of returning again and again and again when I actually never left Ah, so 
translating this in a more um, um, I don't know grounded way or something like that I want to say this so many of us are like there are a lot of things happening as probably maybe not I don't know maybe you know maybe you don't know maybe you feel it maybe you don't feel it but there's a lot happening all the time and we can from one perspective say that what's been happening now on earth is like unprecedented and more and more things are happening and more and more contrast and more and more energy is happening from another perspective you can see that it has always been there and it has always been that way from another perspective you can see new earth is rising and all of these amazing things are happening from another perspective you can see how the world is gone freaking mad and there is all of these dark energies and shit happening that is just completely crazy and i see it all and i see it all all the time i always see all of it at the same time and that's and that's crazy you know to um, sometimes feel my way into things because i am in the human body i am uh, from one perspective um this one this one individual you know and from another perspective i feel like i am everyone i see and i feel like i am everyone that i see and i am all of their perspectives and i feel like i am all the perceptions that everyone has about what's happening and what life is and everything all at the same time so it sometimes gets pretty intense and crazy and overwhelming and confusing while at the same time it feels hilarious and magical and pure and indescribable love so i both agree um and resonate with whatever perspective and every anyone and everyone is sharing and at the same time i don't resonate and i disagree with what everyone and everyone else is sharing and i feel and i see all of us perceiving and experiencing and doing all of these things at the same time and i see myself in everyone and i see myself in all the contrast that i observe in others so again bringing it again kind of uh back in a more grounded what the fuck are you what the fuck do you mean way um there there are all of these things um these perceptions in what we call spiritual community and again i i don't even resonate from one perspective calling it that or observing it like that but i know that when i say uh spiritual community you will understand what i mean you know so i'm gonna like bring my language back down so you can maybe understand me better in what i am sharing with all that i shared until now so from one perspective in the spiritual community we are seeing a lot of people talking about new age and uh, there feels like there, there is this contrast and almost opposition uh, between what some of us perceive as new age love and light and what other spiritual people consider to be realistic and warrior or whatever i don't know it's so intense and it has so many fractals and in it's so intrinsic and i just want to say that maybe like even some of you might put me in one of those categories or 
uh, I or someone else can put someone in one of those categories or they themselves say, oh, I'm from this category and I don't agree with this one and I have this whole list of reasons why I don't agree. And for me, I'm like always observing and always agreeing and disagreeing with everyone, you know? I see how from the perspective of those of, of those of us who have been connecting with what we call the dark agenda, the dark occult, um, magic in language, deceitful language, law, government, um, I'm going to go there, I'm going to go everywhere, multidimensionality shit, like the reptilians or the, the bad aliens that want to siphon our energy and that have been siphoning our energy for eons and all of that, I see all of that and I see why from that point of perspective you would judge people who are like what you might perceive as new age love and light and you might perceive that as that you're just bypassing everything and you're not doing anything and you're um and you're um pretending or feeling that everything is okay when obviously it's not okay don't you see people are being trafficked the government is lying to us we are there are all these things happening and you're just there with love and light what the fuck like be realistic uh you're just lying no 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 i see that i see that people with that perspective see the other perspective like that and i also see people and like all that i'm saying that's why i don't usually come this down to explain things in this way because this is very controversial but it's all good um and i also see how people um who are con who consider themselves or are considered as love and light new age um look at the others who are like no we are at war uh awful things are happening to humanity, we need to do something, if we don't do anything and we just be love and light meditating, nothing is going to change, so you're guilty, na na na, because you're not doing anything, and I can see how the people who are perceived again, or perceive themselves as love and light, or new ager, or whatever, look at that and see, whoa, that's cool, you have a lot to integrate, you're perceiving reality in that way because it's showing things. It's showing you things that maybe you haven't seen within yourself until now. So you're seeing that mirror and you're projecting onto me that I'm not doing my part. But I don't have to justify. I don't have I don't have to enter any argument or I don't have to justify or defend myself at all because I, I feel like I'm doing I'm 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 sharing my truth and I feel that focusing on all the negative things that are happening is just feeding that energy more and more fighting whatever it is just um keeps on making it more real the more i'm fighting something the more i am giving it power because i cannot fight fight something that it's not real so if i'm fighting it at the same time i'm giving it my power for it to even exist so that i can fight it you know so this is just one simple way to translate what I've been observing and feeling and the thing is everything I see on the outside I see also in me so I also see how these perspectives are like um, mixing and dancing and contradicting and um, um, complementing each other within me it's like wait if I just be the high frequencies, are things really going to change? But if I don't fight, uh, na na na, and I, I can see both moving through me. And I can... 
I can observe everything and honor everything as it is. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to forget my sovereignty, forget my truth and let it go because of someone else's perspective or experience when I come in contact with them. For example, with wearing masks or freaking vaccinations or whatever it is, you know? And it's about this balance, this truth, this embodied truth, this embodied love, this embodied truth, this embodied sovereignty. And I feel compassion towards every part of me and every part that I see reflected in others that are fighting. I see the perspective of not wanting your energy to be siphoned, not wanting to be lied to, tricked, or any of that. And at the same time, I see the energy of the one that is confused or angry or crazy or whatever and wants to siphon someone else's energy because it doesn't feel it has its own and it doesn't know how to help itself in any other way. And I see both. And I have compassion for both. And I understand both. And I see both inside of me and in others. And I see the struggle and the fight and the judgment and the pain. But I also see the dance and the beauty and the magic and the love. I feel it all at the same time. It's like from one perspective, my truth can never be biased because I always feel and experience all the perspectives and experiences at the same time. So, again, bringing again it all back down. I, I ask myself a lot, and maybe you, you're wondering, so what the fuck do you do with all the perspectives that you have? How does that work in the physical world? What the fuck do you do if you feel like you see all the perspectives and everything? Like, what the fuck do you do? And that's such a good question. Noodles or not noodles? And that... I don't know if I can answer that. Because it's um, in the moment thing, you know? It's a flow that I discover in every moment. And from one perspective, just because I am in a body, I am already biased because I like this food and I don't like that one. I prefer this music to that music. I prefer this experience to that experience. So from one perspective, I am biased, completely biased. From another perspective, I don't feel like I can be biased because I can feel and experience and see everything at the same time. So noodles or not noodles? What an amazing question that I go through, experience and ask myself every day in every moment. And sometimes there's a lot of mind and trying to figure things out and 
understand, overstand, understand, whatever you want to, uh, whatever type of language you want to use. And I try to figure myself out and I try to figure the world out and I try to figure what is the best I can be, what is the best I can do. And then sometimes there are no thoughts. There is no mind thinking. There's just beingness or isness or happeningnessness. I don't know if that was a word, but it's just happening. So I always perceive reality as this cosmic freaking crazy paradox all the time because as i said i feel like i am completely unbiased but just because i am in a human body then i am already biased from another perspective you know and yes and maybe even the question of what is the best I can be is already being answered by who I am in every moment. And the best is exactly that which simply is. Maybe there is no such thing as best, it simply is. And everything flows and morphs through my own perception of it and through my own experience of it. <sighs> so yes, in terms of the different perspectives that again bringing it down in terms of these different perspectives that we are seeing in the spiritual community which for me from one perspective that um spiritual community for me from one perspective doesn't even make sense because i i wrote in a in a post uh one year ago i'm not spiritual i'm spirit what the fuck does, does it mean to be spiritual? And what the fuck is this thing where we call some people spiritual, the spiritual community? And what about everyone else? Are they not spiritual? Are they not spirit? So, again, I don't really resonate with that expression most of the time. But again, coming back to it, to kind of not even make a point, but just share a perspective. I see the different perspectives that everyone is seeing. I see the fingers being pointed outwards. You're not doing your part. You're part of the problem. You're na na na. You're na na na. And I see it. I see the fingers pointing out. And even, even like what I'm doing right now, talking about it, is kind of pointing fingers. I'm not saying anything bad about anyone, but I'm focused outside. So I'm, from one perspective, pointing fingers. But then it's like, wow, what is this teaching me? What is this teaching me? What is the... What is... Um, I'm observing all of this and what is it triggering or awakening in me? I also wrote a post just some weeks ago saying, what is the outside trying to teach you within? Or something like that. And I feel like I'm always playing this game of like, yes, I'm looking outside a lot because I'm studying and analyzing and just hmm, perceiving all of these things, traveling through all these dimensions, traveling everywhere and seeing everything from these different perspectives. 
and at the same time I realize that I'm the outside is also the inside so I'm actually traveling within myself and I'm traveling through all of these dimensions or aspects or perceptions within myself you know that that um, that thing as above so below as within so without I see that all the time I feel that all the time as above so below as below so above as within so without as without so within the more I observe the outside the more I observe the inside and the more I observe the inside the more I observe the outside the more I understand others the more I understand myself the more I understand myself the more I understand others the more that I understand what's happening within me the more I understand what is happening between people outside of me the more I observe and understand what is happening between people outside of me the more I understand what is happening within me And it's this game of perception and experience which sometimes feels like the worst nightmare and sometimes feels like the most psychedelic, beautiful, crazy dream. And it's all the same. The nightmare and the dream are the same. So what is and what is my perception of what is being? So I'm traveling within myself and all around me, seeing all of these different perspectives welcoming and integrating all these different aspects observing and being observed seeing and being seen hiding and being hidden all of it and i see clearly the separation i clearly see the conflict the war, the duality, the individuality, and I clearly see the oneness, the beingness, the sameness, the connection of everything, all the time, at the same time. And I observe all of these emotions and feelings, thoughts and perceptions arising within me. I see the stories, the archetypes, the roles, the actors, the personages arising within me, arising within others. I see us playing all of these stories and all of these games. I see the game being played. I see the game just happening. I see how language is so freaking beautiful, but at the same time, all that I've been sharing and all that I'm always sharing cannot ever be shared through language. Yet, that's one of the languages or ways of communication we use the most. Or maybe it really isn't. It's just one of them, one of those that we, from one perspective, are consciously aware that we do. We speak through silence, through movement, through energy, through beingness.
So I see how whatever is pointed outwards is pointed inwards. Whatever is pointed inwards is reflected outwards. I feel the compassion. of all these different aspects that are fighting, scared, hurting, or hurt. I feel the pain, the suffering, the joy, the magic, the bliss, the separation, the oneness, the beingness, the isness of everything at the same freaking time. And it's quite an experience. It's quite an experience. And if there is one thing, if there is one thing, that thing would be love. If there was one thing, that thing would be love. And because I say love doesn't mean that there is not pain and hate and judgment there. This love that I'm talking about is the love that births, births and encompasses all of it. It's not a separate dualistic love, even though that love is also there. The love that is not hate, the love that is something and not the other. But even that love that is one thing and not another is also there. It's the silence where all the noise and sound comes from. And it's the sounds and noise that is completely silent. It's where everything is and nothing is. Where everything is there and nothing is there. Where all the stories, dynamics, perceptions and experiences are there but also no story, no dynamic, no experience. This is why I say that I always perceive reality as this paradox. This is what I mean. This is what I mean. And sometimes I'm playing the story of Whatever story it is, the warrior, the martyr, the teacher, the student, the woman, the, I don't know, the dragon, whatever, like whatever, whatever story. I'm playing a role. I'm acting as something, like a character in a movie, in a theater. And I see myself and I observe myself there and my interactions with others. And sometimes I feel like I am no character and there is no story to back up that character because without story, without a past, without this structure to build a character, there is no character. There is no story. There is no story without a past, a present and a future. And this is again 
speaking about linear linearity in terms of time and space here's me here's you there's space between us you know yesterday was the past now is the present tomorrow is the future there's that and there's my body growing changing and aging and the flowers the seeds blooming and growing into a flower and the tree growing and then dying there is this linearity this past present and future which makes a story and a character the story of the flower the story of the tree that is born and grows and dies and again space because the tree is not the same as the flower or the rock or the ocean and at the same time there is this what we have been calling quantum where there is no time perceived in that way and so there is no birthing growing and dying they are all one happening at the same time and there is no space so there is no separation there is no you and me the ocean and the rock it's all the same and one and this is how i perceive and experience because the perception makes the experience and the experience makes the perception this is my experience and my perception all the time yes it was it was really good to share this moment with you and with myself to be here and express these perceptions and feelings through words even though they can never be expressed through language but I'm really grateful I'm here it felt really good Yes. So thank you for being here. Thank you.